So if you have a vehicle and you think you have a bad fuel injector, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad fuel injector and how you go about telling if it has failed. And a fuel injector basically just sends fuel into each cylinder at the correct time. And then there's a spark that ignites this so that the engine can run good. And so when a fuel injector has issues, it's not going to be injecting fuel into the cylinder correctly. And this is going to cause problems. And a very common problem with fuel injectors is that they become clogged up so no fuel can go in. Or they become leaky and they're just sending fuel into the cylinder all the time whenever there's pressure at the fuel rail. And a very common problem when the injector is leaky is that quite often the engine will start good when it's cold, but if it's warmed up, then it's going to be hard to start. This is a fairly common problem with a leaky fuel injector. So if your engine starts good when it's cold, but then the engine's warmed up and you shut it off and you try to restart it and it's hard to start, then that can point to a leaky fuel injector. And so what are some symptoms of a bad fuel injector? Well, first thing is that the engine can be hard to start. And this is going to be because there's either too much fuel inside the cylinder or there's not enough fuel inside the cylinder. And so it could cause a hard start for the engine. When you have a bad injector, you're very likely going to get a misfire code. So you go to check your codes, and you'll get something like a P0301 or a P0302 or something along these lines. And it's going to point you to the cylinder that's having the problem. And so be sure to check your codes. The vehicle is very likely going to get worse fuel economies since the fuel is not going into the cylinders correctly. The engine can also stall out sometimes because at least one of the cylinders isn't working correctly. The engine can also run rich, and this is mainly with leaky fuel injectors. And also if there's too much fuel going into the cylinder, sometimes you can smell it. So you go to pop the hood and you can smell gas inside of there. So that could be another symptom. And so how would you go about testing if a fuel injector has failed? Well, there's many different methods on how you go about testing for a fuel injector. One method is that you use a fuel pressure gauge and you attach it to the fuel rail up on top of the engine and you check to see what the fuel pressure is and then you turn off the key and if you have a leaky fuel injector it'll slowly start to lose pressure and go down. There is some other things that can also cause you to lose fuel pressure but you'll know you're losing fuel pressure for some reason and one reason is a leaky fuel injector. You can also use a multimeter and go check what the resistance is or the ohms and then you can match it to the other injectors on the fuel rail and just see if one of them is having an issue. For example if you go along and all the fuel injectors have 15.5 ohms but you check one and there's no ohms or you have really high ohms like 30 or something then you know that one has an issue. You can also pull the spark plugs out one at a time and match them to a burn chart. And this can be a good method if you don't know which cylinder is having the issue. So if you're trying to figure out which cylinder has a bad injector, you can pull the spark plugs out one at a time and the way they're burning can tell you which one is having the problem. There's burn charts you can look up online that'll show you what's going on inside of the cylinder. But basically if it's really black, then too much fuel is going into the cylinder. And if it's really white, then not enough fuel is going into the cylinder. But you can't pull the spark plugs one at a time and match them to a burn chart. If you think you found a bad injector, you can also swap it with another one just to see if the problem follows. So for example, say you're getting a P0301, which would be the number one cylinder having the issue. You could pull the cylinder number one and swap it with number two and then see if the problem follows. If it is a bad injector, you'll get a P0302. So that is another method is that you could swap it out and see if the problem follows. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic video on the symptoms of a bad fuel injector and how you go about telling if one has failed. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.